What's up guys, Corvus95 here, and welcome to another episode of my Pokemon Showdown Random Battle series. Let's get straight on the way with battle number one. Here we go. And my opponent starts with a Verizion against my Sharpedo. So this is a matchup I'm not staying in for. I'm sorry, I'm just not. This, however, is a matchup I'm perfectly fine switching out into. Actually, what do Verizions normally use? Because I could get off a Shedinja. Let's go Charizard. Goes for the Substitute, that's fine. It does lead me to believe that he has nothing for me, however. Okay, he has Stone Edge and kills me. Oh, why? Well, he has Stone Edge, so he kills that. There's something for everyone. I guess we go to Rakion. Because I need to break the sub. Why did I go to Rakion then? I thought I would have a fine move. Um, he's going to go for a grass move. Well, let's just try and break the sub. Why do I miss Stone Edge? Why do I miss Stone Edge? I don't want to miss Stone Edge. It's Stealth Drop. Even if I had like a move that penetrated Substitute, it would be amazing. He's going to sweep me with a one Pokemon. I'm not even going to get to see the rest of his team. Can I at least break a substitute? Please. Yes. Get in. Well, he's going down unless he switches. He's gonna switch. Yeah, yeah I was gonna say he has to switch. Good play by my opponent in the switch. We've got a critical hit, which is quite nice. We have an invisible mana fee there. And let's go with Choice Scarf, great. Let's go for the surf. Oh, great. Water absorb. Exactly what I wanted. Oh, he's gonna go for the willow! I don't wanna get things burned! Torpedo, come out! Oh, you got toxic! That's okay then. Let's not burn. I'm okay with that. Let's not mega evolve yet. Gets the justified boost, but gets the defense lore. That's very nice. Now we Mega Evolve and Zen Headbutt. And it doesn't take him out. Wow. That didn't take him out. He has a lot of defense. That was a super effective attack from a Mega Sharpedo. With him on 66% um, defense. Minus one. Okay, so Sharpedo has like one turn left. Human, why are you bringing that? Steelix can easily live an attack. Because I don't have stab water. Raikou. Earthquake. That might not live an earthquake. It might. Because the Verizion lived. It does. And he's going to get a calm mind off. 
we go down to the toxic and we can go out into our mana thing. We can go for the energy ball. How's that? Oh, you, you boosted his special defense. I completely forgot that he boosted his special defense. Why? Why? Pinsa doesn't like this. That's a three hit kill. Are we kidding? A three hit kill. He knows I'm choiced. I don't know why he didn't switch. It's all down to Shedinja to kill three of his Pokemon. And Shedinja goes down to the Stealth Rocks. Good game to my opponent. <laughs> okay, ball number two. So we pick up a loss, unfortunately. The people on Random Mal seem to have gotten a lot better recently. Either that, or I've got a million times worse. Let's go for the Sword Stance. Goes for the Leech Seed. Which is a bit annoying. We can go for the Shadow Claw. It does over half, but he's going to get Leech Seed, which sucks. Let's just go Shadow Claw again. His ball seems slightly pointless. Because he's going to win. Yeah. Well, at least he didn't get any more health back. We can go out into... Well, he has Thick Fat at this point. So I think Thunderous is the best play. And go for the Hidden Power. Or go for the Nasty Plot. He's going for Leech Seed, isn't he, realistically. So I had to go Hidden Power. Because I couldn't stand him getting a Leech Seed off on this as well. Leech Seed's one of those moves that a lot of people don't look at as highly as they should. Because it's such a good move. That was a very good play. He knew that uh, Hidden Power Ice wouldn't have killed him. So he went out into... So it couldn't have been Hidden Power Ice, so he went out into Landris. Good play. So there's a, um, what's it called, Stone Edge coming my way here. Let's stay in and go for the Hidden Power Flying. It's not a 2 a kill, which I hoped it would have been. So I outspeed, which is nice. Quite a lot. Stone Edge will take me out, but I do have the Azumarill. Which has Aqua Jet. So let's go for it. So his Landorus T got rid of my um, Thunderous T, but apart from that, didn't really do much. So we're two for two at the minute. A Kiram comes out. Let's go for the Superpower. He outspeeds, obviously. Very good play by my opponent there. However, I don't know what he's going to do. Let's go for the belly drum. Now let's go for the waterfall. Oh, not toxic stall. Come on. Don't Toxic stole me out. It's not nice. Flodgers will go down, and I'll go down to Toxic. So a three for three. Are oh, we just going to keep this up till the end of the match? And it's going to be 1v1 at the very end. He brings out the Kiram, which isn't what I wanted to see. However, I do have Superpower. He has Draco, however, and it destroys my face. Which is slightly unfortunate, because Magmortar can't really do much. I mean, I can go for a Fire Blast, but it's neutral. I think I should sub. 
it is outrage as well. S slightly annoying. And I miss Fire Blast. I'm sick of missing moves that have like 80% accuracy. 85% accuracy. I shouldn't miss it once every two times I use it. And it cost me the stupid thing. It cost me the battle against Kyurem. Arrgh! Scald. He obviously outspeeds. Why do people keep getting so many legendaries against me as well? Like, look at his team compared to my team. Yes, the burn. That makes this a two-hit kill. Very nice. I wish the sandstorm boost worked on um, ground types as well as what they call rock types. Ice Beam doesn't take me out. I don't know what I'm hoping for, that did absolutely nothing. Let's go for the rest. <laughs> and good game to my opponents, we lose another match. We're on a losing streak at the minute and it's not fun. Chatter comes out, Blaziken comes out, he has Chatter, I need to switch. Why am I switching? It's gonna get paralyzed. Oh, not paralyzed, confused. I think I Mega Evolve Protect. As he's gonna go for a nasty plot. Goes for the Substitute, which is even worse than a nasty plot. Why do I keep predicting him to go for something and then I just ignore it? Oh, do I have any moves that go through? Does Dazzling Gleam go through? I don't think it does. Fine, it doesn't matter, just go knock off. We don't die to the chatter. We do get confused, unfortunately. I give up, let's go for Flare Blitz. It's all or nothing. That's a nothing. Oh, Cheddar, why have you got to confuse? It's such an annoying strategy. Am I really gonna have to deal with Blizzard missing? Well, I'm not even out, I can't even have speed, so. Because I don't think Thunderbolt would kill. I swear, if he goes for a substitute, I'm going to punch myself in the face. Good, he didn't. Went out and cleared all. That's a two-way kill, although I do have to hit again. With a 70% accuracy move, which means I'm missing. What? So I can hit two of those, but I can't hit one Fire Blast. Rotom's putting in a little bit of work. Not much at the minute. <sighs> Why? Why have you got a Rotom attack? A Rotom attack. A Deoxys attack. Mandibuzz, because he has Psycho um, boost. And let's go for the knockoff. Because it's a decent move on everything. From what I remember, Deoxy's attack doesn't normally pack anything. He has a superpower, that's okay. Knockoff should kill, yes it does. Gets rid of his life orb. Scar Mori comes out. Let's go for the taunt. You're not setting up your rocks and spikes and all that. And let's go out into... I have like nothing special that's good against this Scar Mori. Let's go foul play. Actually, let's go knock off. It breaks his sturdy and gets rid of his item. Although he may switch out, which knockoff's also better for.
does about 25%. Birth bird does an okay amount. So you had lefties. Unfortunately, I don't have roost. Roost would be really nice. So foul play. Um, so he's going for brave bird. Hmm. It's risky, but I'm going for it. That's why it's risky, because he did over half. And let's go for the flame wheel. The guts boosted flame wheel should kill, I hope. Does guts double your attack? So that would be 364 attack. If it is, if that's true, this should kill. Plus I'm 8 levels higher. It's this time in the games that I'm failing recently. It's like the mid game. I just don't know what to do. And I keep making the wrong play. Because I seem to be sacking off my like win cons early in the game. It's really, really costing me. I think... So I did 40%. Facade should kill. Which is why I went for it over the... Hmm. Do I go U-turn? Not really. I'm going down to Stealth Rocks no matter what. I should outspeed. I do. And Reggie Steel, I can go... Please don't tell me that he's going to switch out again. He protects. Fair enough. Good play. I thought he was going to double switch out on the hunt tail again. Let's go for Diggers B. Because he's Reggie Steel, so he has neutral defense and special defense. And let's go for... Do we go agility first? I think we'll go sword stance first because Skarmory is the most likely switcher. He does switch in Skarmory. We outspeed it. We can go for... He shouldn't have anything to damage me. So let's go for the agility. Just to make sure we'll outspeed that chat off. He does do that, however, which is annoying. Return is a 2 hit kill, thankfully. He goes down to the Brave Bird, and we should have this game in the bag. Because we should be able to kill that with a return. We can, and that both as always should go down to an Earthquake. We should pick up one victory at least in this, well, well, yeah, one victory at most in this episode, which is okay. I'm okay losing 2-1 overall in an episode. I just don't get like getting 3 would And now he's going to stall for time. Great. I love people who play like this. I've won, just either concede or just play along and play out the game. Neither of your Pokemon can survive a huge power earthquake. And even if Registeel can, I don't think it can one-shot me. Plus the only recovery Registeel gets is rest. And Mr. Mime has Focus Blast, and I can always go for the taunt on you as well. These trainers are the most annoying trainers in the world. The ones who just take so much time. I have speed. I have plus two attack. I have huge power. I have a super effective move. Probably one of probably the third best move in the game. Just make your move. Good game. 
And yeah, that's going to be the end of this episode, guys. If you've enjoyed, leave a like. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Try and get me to 16 subscribers by the end of the week. From me, Corvus95, thank you so much for watching, and goodbye.